I'm Rachel from Jimmy Beans Wool, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do a really cool design detail that you'll find in some patterns. It's where you um, wrap your yarn a couple extra times around the needle um, on one row, and then on the next row you drop those wraps. And what that does is it creates an elongated stitch, or in some cases um, a larger hole if it's yarn if it's just a yarn over. Um, I've got this Cambio Cal here. Let me just show you a quick example of one way that you might see this in a pattern. These elongated stitches here, um, in order to allow them to be that long, you have to throw a couple extra wraps in there while you're doing it. Um, and that allows it to stretch across your knitting without it um, pulling too tight. So that's one way that you'll see it. Um, there's also some really cool other stitch patterns out there um, where you like do extra wraps and then on the next row when you drop them, they create uh, this really cool looking like open um, sea foamy type pattern. Um, there's some really cool patterns out there that I've seen that use that. So there's definitely multiple ways that you can use this technique. So um, let me just go ahead and get to showing you. So I've got my swatch here and I am currently working with the red so you can see the different colors and let me get you set up. So you're knitting along and when you're come when you come to a stitch where you want to wrap it you're gonna put your needle in just to knit, knit it just like you normally would and then rather than pulling your needle back out as if you have just you know knit the stitch you're gonna take your yarn and wrap it again once maybe twice sometimes up to four or five six times it just depends on what the pattern tells you to do um, but let's just do one more here so we've got it wrapped three times I think and then you pull that through whoops and don't do it too tight like I just did there <laughs> if it gets too tight then uh, you'll have a hard time uh, when you get around to it on the on the next row so so you can see here we've got a whole bunch of extra wraps around around the needle and then let me just knit around to the other side I've got one all set up so I can show you what you do with those wraps once you get around because obviously if you don't drop them you're gonna be creating a bunch of extra holes in or a large hole and a bunch of extra stitches in your work and you definitely don't want that um, unless it's a design feature but most of the time what you're going to be doing with these stitches is dropping them um, so let's get over here to this other side and um, I've seen this too where like sometimes you'll have uh, you'll do some extra wraps on one stitch and then the next wrap the next stitch will have even more wraps and then the next stitch will have even more wraps so it creates this like graduated um, hole in your knitting and it can be really really pretty if, if it's if it's done right so okay so you can see here I've gotten to where I wrapped my stitch on the previous row a bunch of times so this is really the simplest part of this whole thing you just have to remember when you get here not to knit all of these stitches and you basically just pull them off of your needle just like that and see how it's created this big long extra loop um, that's okay just go ahead and knit it like you normally would and when you come back to this, because this stitch is not is not done, you need all that extra in order to, um, you know, cross the stitch or do whatever it is that the pattern is asking you to do with it. But um, that's that's how you get that enough enough extra material with your with your stitch so that you can pull it around and twist it or do whatever the pattern calls for. So that's what you do with that. And like I said, in some cases you will be. Um, just dropping all of them and it creates an extra an extra big hole an extra yarn over um, or not an extra yarn over just a, a larger yarn over hole that can be a design feature sometimes so yeah so that is that is what you do there and when we come back around to it you will be twisting that stitch or doing some other design feature with it so um, anyway so that is how you do extra wraps on one row and then drop those wraps on the next row so um, that's a really cool feature. You see it in the Cambio Cal by Laura Nelkin. And I am Rachel from Jimmy Beans Wool. Thanks for watching. Thunder rumbles on this American summer night.